What's up, everybody? I've got good news. My church has asked me to make a knife as a giveaway item for their sportsman's banquet. And I'm super stoked about it. It gives me a great opportunity to work on a antler handled hunter, which is kind of a uh, direction I want to move for, for a project. So uh, couldn't be coming at a better time. Um, also, I just want you guys to know, I'm going to keep doing this. This isn't something I'm just doing no once in a while. I'm going to try to put out regular videos, hopefully as the weather improves, uh, at least one every couple of weeks. So I've got lots of cool projects coming up, so don't hesitate to hit that subscribe button if you like this one. So here's where we're starting on this antler handled hunting knife. Uh, I'm going to be using leaf spring. Um, I've already uh, got some pieces of leaf spring I've got pretty beaten down. The problem that is, at the time that I smooshed this, I was using a hammer that wasn't really maybe the best suited for this task. Um, so it's got some pretty bad hammer marks on it. But I think it's thick enough for what I want to do that I can kind of carefully hammer that down further. And since uh, you saw my last forging project, I have refaced this hammer. Uh, it's not quite a rounding hammer, but it's no longer nearly as sharp and flat on the edges as it was. So hopefully that will make today's forging go a little bit better. Hopefully I won't have such bad hammer marks on that piece. We'll see. Let me give you all a clue of what I'm trying to do right now. I'm trying to make that thing a bit of a spear point and I'm contemplating whether I'm going to go ahead and try to forge in some bevel. I don't know. We'll see. Why is it every time I go to forge in bevels, it's a epic fail? Well, here's the deal, folks. It's getting dark out. I am horrible at forging bevels. I mean, horrible. I don't know why I keep trying it. I mess it up every time. And I'm also scared of chipping this old animal more. So I'm going to try to just square up the edges a little bit more, see if I can have a pleasing tip of the knife, and then uh, I'm not forging the bevels. Well, we're running out of light, 
So I'm just gonna forge in a tang and we'll deal with everything else stock removal. So it was getting kind of dark. Uh, I did what I could to finish up and I uh, went and checked on a blade today. And uh, I thought I was gonna do some more forging on this guy, but uh, it actually came out a little flatter and straighter than I thought it was gonna. I thought I was gonna have to come back in and do some corrections on that. But uh, I think I'm gonna be able to just uh, go with it as is. cold out here today but uh, I think got the rough beveling done um, this side turned out much better than this side this side I got a little too a little bit of some scratches up here in the middle but uh, I wanted to leave that forge finish but uh, I think a little bit of an acid treat and then a uh, heat treating process will, will mucky that back up good again and then I'll just have to be careful with my final bevels a little thin at the tip a little worried about warpage. We'll see what happens. Okay, so while I warm up the forge, let's just take a quick inventory of where I'm at. I'm getting ready to heat treat this. Um, I've done a little bit of file work. I don't know what they call that thing, but I thought that little uh, groove right there would look good on this particular blade. Uh, I did a little bit of touch-ups in a variety of places, just so that uh, I don't have to do so much after heat treat. 
And uh, if you guys have watched Making Tree before, you will notice that I use water most of the time because I'm doing interrupted quenches. I'm not looking for a hamon on this one. I'm not looking for a temper line. So I'm just gonna preheat some oil and go ahead and quench this guy in some oil. Okay, so I've normalized this guy twice. Uh, hopefully that'll be enough. I'm gonna go ahead and get her past magnetic and do the quench. And let's just pray that we don't warp this blade. I think that's good. That's about as good as it's gonna get. Yeah, it's skating pretty good. Triple quenched. That's gonna be an hour and a half at 450 to temper it back. Pretty happy with that. For now. Well, we're gonna have to bring this one to a close. A um, little bit more spit and polish on this, and this blade is complete. Uh, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. It's pretty, pretty attractive in my opinion, and hopefully whoever ends up with this as the uh, item that they win at the sportsman's dinner, um, hopefully they appreciate it and they count it as a blessing. Um, with all that said, if you guys wanna catch the second half of this build, the antler, handle to this that uh, is something new for me. I haven't done it before, so I might mess it up. Who knows? You can laugh at me or cry with me, whichever, I don't know, whatever kind of person you are. But uh, don't forget to like if you like this video, if you like this build. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see me continue on with these videos. So, all right guys, I'll check you later.